All right, we're heading from Lowe's to Publix. Gonna see if the map data fixes the issue that gives me a disengagement on that back road. It is very clear. Come on. I gave it a little acceleration there because it was just not going and I could see clearly both ways. It said creeping for visibility, but there was nothing blocking it. Right, and okay, it didn't even slow down. It went the right way. Um, it's still got the wrong data though. It's still showing this uh, old road that went up through the valley here. I'm turning the wheel. Oops, I just pulled it out accidentally. It was saying to apply force to the wheel, but I was holding it. And I was putting force on it. All right, so yeah, this map data is still bad. And it didn't cause an issue back there this time, but it's still wrong. When I started editing this video, I realized what was going on here. The old map data wanted to take me on a road that doesn't exist. The new map data no longer has the old road, but also doesn't have the huge bridge. Here you see a recent satellite view from Apple Maps, which is way more up to date here than Google. In the valley there used to be a bridge that crossed the creek. Until this past weekend, my car would always try to take me on the route across the creek and back up the hill on the other side. Now since the bridge no longer exists in the maps, it wants to take me along this back road that comes out in a completely different part of town. The correct route would be to just take me across this big bridge, which was completed just over six years ago. So that needs to be fixed. But, as you can see, it's actually showing a roundabout here. Um, usually, before the new map data, it was just showing a straight line. It would go through the roundabout fine, but it was showing it as a um, straight line there. So yeah, it's treating it as a roundabout now. It's actually putting on a turn signal, um, which it doesn't need to do because I'm going straight. But anyway, it's... Um, it knows it's a roundabout now, so that's good. So when I actually set up this route, I had to do it a little differently because it wanted me to go into Waynesville and then back. And I think it's because all the map data is corrected except for that spot. And, you know, it was trying to take me on this back road. So that one spot still is incorrect. Can we make this turn into Publix? If so, that's zero disengagements again. All right. And we did it. Uh, stopped there for a second. Not sure why. Okay, so get over on your side of the road. So I had to disengage there. It wants to ride in the middle right there, even with a car coming. Not sure why. I'm not going to let it go all the way until it gets to the car and then get over. That's just not good. Oh, there we go. Um, almost got here. Um, it probably would have done fine. I'm going to count that as my own disengagement there. Just, it was more of a making the oncoming traffic feel comfortable. Um, it, I'm sure it would have gotten over it.
the last second. But anyway, there we go. If it would fix that map data, most of it is fixed, but that one spot is still bad. Uh, but anyway, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.